So North Adelaide sitting third on the ladder and seemingly unbeatable. We've beaten last week coming into this game against the double blues. It won two in a row, although they were sitting seventh on the ladder. It seemed somewhat of a mismatch though when the game got underway after a pretty good opening from the double blues. Yeah, you're right. Both teams would have come here come here to prospect today. I think they had claims on the game. Um, Sturt, OK early. Certainly played with some good intensity in the first quarter and were two goals up at quarter time, albeit they had the use of a pretty strong breeze. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't take us long to find out just how strong and important that breeze was on the day. And there you get a gauge of it as North Adelaide really took command from time on in the second term and they were they were basically never headed after that or never even really threatened. They kicked five goals in time on in the second term to go to half time with a six goal lead. And then the double blues, well, they hung around, they had their moments, but overall they were just well beaten. Yeah, certainly were. Um, outclassed, outworked, out tackled um, on the day. There's, there's not much that uh, North Adelaide didn't do well today. And, uh, you know, all their good players, you know, Nathan Gordon admittedly had a quiet day, but, you know, Daniel Stewart pops up and kicks five goals and, and, and played a really good game as well as, you know, uh, throwing Amato, Teal, and the list goes on. Yeah, they had contributors all over the ground, North Adelaide, and really the most significant part of the day was they used the breeze in the second term to get that 37-point lead, but then North Adelaide into the breeze in the third quarter, five goals to two. Yeah, that was... that broke the back of the game really we came out after half time and we're thinking look if Sturt can can bounce back use that breeze and you know bridge the gap try and get it to, to somewhere near level at three quarter time you know who knows in the last quarter but uh, North held their nerve and, and went from strength to strength in the second half and were, were really good and you just saw a, a mistake from the double blues at the back and probably too many costly skill errors in this one and there's another one, just allowing the ball to get over the back and Chad O'Sullivan wandering into goal. So there it is, quarter by quarter. Double Blues, pretty good performance in the opening term to take a 13-point lead. Uh, but as I said, after that, North Adelaide, if you look at it, kicked 18 goals after quarter time to just four. So a commanding victory by 76 points in the end for North Adelaide. The stats in some ways don't reflect their dominance. No, they don't. But what they do show is... is um how efficient they were going forward and how dangerous they were going forward. Not a lot of discrepancy there in the inside 50s. What stands out to me is the kick-to-handball ratio of Sturt. On a day like today, difficult conditions, windy, a bit slippery at times and muddy. You can't be um, overusing the ball to that degree. Um, you know, North Adelaide have probably got the mix about right there. So North Adelaide winning and just showing that they will be a top three side and a certain premiership contender.